Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? Yeah, I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. 
Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. shows you are being watched by an informed guard, you should play. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Students is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. Don't toss your weapons around so carelessly. You won't often get a second chance to strike.
ist ein toter Mann, wenn er sich erneut hier da. zeigt. Use vigilantes you have freed to block your pursuers and break their line of sight. Please don't do that again. How about you calm down before you get yourself hurt? Is that the last of them? I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. He's a murderer. Damn! Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Damn! Where are you? I know you're here somewhere.
Try to run, old man. There's nowhere to go. Oh, a, a plague upon his people. We came in peace to the Holy Land to spread the message of our Lord. Anyone? You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life. <coughs> you must not be of his mind. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life. Why are you so cruel? <laughs> Ah, Altair. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Gagne de Naprus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitaller, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. Isn't Altair? Remember me? No? I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. What a strange man. I'm impressed. Not enough to change my mind about you, but since Al Muelim commands, here is what I know about your next target. Garnier hides in the Hospitalier Fortress. Getting into the fortress will require cunning. That's all I have for you. Don't go 
Listen Both well. Of you. Go on, Guardian of the Blues is a good man. He means only to help. He sworn an oath to serve and save. A promise he won't betray. Soon, my friends, soon the good doctor will attend to your needs. Be Please patient. Hold hope close. There are many in need of aid, and only one of him. He Go works on. tirelessly to coins? serve and save. No, but these things take pass. time. Mercy! Mercy! Don't kill me. I'll do anything you want. You serve Gagné? He... he makes me say these things. To keep the people from revolting. To give them hope and make them eager for his touch. Tell me everything you can about the man. Y yes of course. I, I know what happens within. What he really does. Go on. Not sick, not wounded when they enter. But once he's got his hands on them, then the pain begins. He's no healer then. Just a sick, cruel man. I, I don't know what it is he does to make them cry so loud, but it must be stopped before more are made to suffer. Will you stop him? It's why you still live. He is cautious. You must pick the proper time. Go to him when he attends to the patients. He forgets the world around him, becomes lost in his work. Yes, strike then. I thank you for the information. Then you'll let me go? Would that I could. It's forbidden for you to be here. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? It's a waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. Thank <laughs> you. 
Could you come, brother? I could use that blade of yours. Too many archers about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. And I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the mad doctor. Keep in mind, however, that you must do this without being seen. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. Defending us from their wicked ways. The Saracens are routed at every turn. We cast them out of Acre and push them from the countryside. Now they retreat to the south, begging Saladin to save them. But he will not succeed. Of King Richard's army. He is graced by God. It is only a matter of time, friends, before all the land is ours once more, just as it was meant to be. Look, look. What's he doing? A plague upon his people. We well done, I'll tell you. With those archers dead, I can be about my business. Take this. It's some sort of work order for repairs to Garnier's hospital. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. And so blessed Richard, King and Savior, now stands against them. The archer who guards the eastern wing. Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I have family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. After me, he saw me. He will kill me and my wife and children. What a mess! Have you come to end my misery? No. Al Mualim has more compassion than I thought. Could you help me then? A knight of the Hospitaliers after me. If you could eliminate him, you would do a fellow a real honor. I've been here in Akka since the Crusaders were laying siege. I can give you important information in return. All I asked for was a few coins. 
It is done. He is dead. Oh, I am extremely grateful. So, here is what I know about Garni de Naplouz, Grand Master of the Hospitalier. Garni let his patients roam the halls of his fortress. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace, and the rooftops are guarded by archers. I'm sure this information will help deliver Garni to the gates of hell. Thank you.